Good morning and welcome to Own Your Value and Earn Your Worth. My name is Megan Toll, your host for the show. So this show is all about giving you a quick dose of inspiration, encouragement, and knowledge to allow you to become the best version of yourself, allow you to become the leader you are meant to be, so you can make the most impact in the world by sharing your gifts, your value, and really being able to earn your worth. Uh, this is a live show, so really anything can happen, so I'm going to give you a heads up on that. But we air every Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Central. So in today's episode, uh, which is called You Have to See It to Be It, we're going to be talking about intention and really um, allowing you to create the, de the day that you desire and allow you to create the outcome that you desire for each and every day. So have you ever woken up in the morning just feeling absolutely frazzled? You woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Everything seems to be a struggle and going wrong. You're trying to get the kids off to school. No one's cooperating and you just feel rushed, rushed, rushed. You get uh, in the car to drive to work um, or drive wherever you need to go and you hit traffic and just everything seems to be off kilter. Well, this can happen uh, if you are not intentional with your day. So we're going to take a close look at um, how to be intentional, and I'm going to share with you three steps to a productive and abundant day. You ready for this? All right, so we are going to start with step number one. And step number one is all about breathing. So I don't know if... Uh, you know this, but I am a comprehensively trained Pilates instructor. So I know all about breathing and how effective breathing can be in terms of um, not only calming you and relaxing you and de-stressing you, but it also helps um, to do a number of things that are great for the body in terms of uh, detoxification and flushing out toxins out of the body. So the breath that we're talking about here is designed to really allow you to get into a more of a relaxed state. So breathing needs to happen from the diaphragm. So when you take a deep breath in, through your nose, fill up the lungs for the count of five and hold, okay? And then you're releasing. You can release through your nose or through your mouth, through your nose when you're doing Pilates, but you can release through your mouth and that's okay. So big deep breath in, filling the diaphragm and filling those lungs by using uh, the diaphragm, excuse me, and then deep breath out. Okay, and I want you to think about doing that five times and really concentrate on the breath. That will help to relax you. And you can use this breathing technique um, before any kind of meditation, um, if you are stressed out, um, behind the wheel, driving. Uh, just any time in your business where you're getting ready to do any kind of presentation or meeting with a client, anytime you may be nervous. So it's a great way just to kind of de-stress and relax. All right, so we're gonna start with the breath. Again, five times, deep inhale in, and big exhale out, okay. Step number two is quieting your mind. Often we have so much going on in our minds. I call this monkey chatter, where we're thinking about, oh my gosh, I gotta do this today, and I gotta do that today, and I gotta um, make sure I get my checklist done and you know there's so many things going on in our minds at any given time. So I have a little uh, tip for you and how to quiet your mind. So what I do is first of all you want to get into a, a quiet space, a comfortable space. Um, you can even do this in your bed uh, before you get out of bed. So just make sure you're in a comfortable quiet place and I want you to close your eyes and think about all of the things you're grateful for in your life. Okay, 
For me, of course, it's my family, it's my friends, it's all the opportunities I have in my life, um, you know, the, the business that I've been able to create where I'm able to serve and share my gift, um, my health. All of these things are very important to me, and um, what I like to do is focus on those things and be grateful for them. So you can give it up to God, you can um, thank the universe, whatever works for you, but coming from this place of gratitude is what's going to allow you to really get to a place of um, that, that gratefulness or gratitude that will allow you to have peace. And you're tricking the mind uh, from thinking about all of those things you have to accomplish that day. Okay, so um, again, quieting your mind and focusing on the things that you're grateful for. So this might take, you know, just a couple minutes. All right, now that you are relaxed and you've quieted your mind, the third step is to set your intentions for the day. So... Again, you can close your eyes and in your mind's eye, I want you to think about um, your day and visualize how you want your day to turn out. And I actually go through everything that I know that I'm going to be going through that day, even if it's not related to work. You know, if it's, you know, dropping the kids off to camp, you know, making sure um, I'm visualizing a safe trip and a uh, trip that's going to allow us to get there on time and you know a, a great drop-off process and then you know I come back and you know get ready for the day for for work so I visualize what I want that to look like if I know I have some some calls to make I kind of visualize in my mind's eye of how I want those calls to turn out um, if I have a presentation that I have to do um, I visualize how I want that, the outcome of that um, to turn out. So really just go through your day step by step and visualize how you want your day to turn out. This is so powerful, I can't even tell you. Um, so you are setting your intentions for the results that you want to achieve. Okay? Okay. So, we're going to go through the steps again. Three steps to your productive and abundant day. Number one, breathing. Five deep breaths in and five breaths out. Okay, to relax you. Step number two, quiet your mind by focusing on the things that you're grateful for. This will allow you to get to that state of peace and calmness and clear your mind of all that clutter and noise. And then the third step is to set your intentions for the day and visualize how you want your day to turn out, okay? Again, you have to see it in your mind's eye before it actually becomes true. So I hope you will use these powerful steps to really gain control over what your day is going to look like. So I wanna share a quote with you, which I think is really powerful. And it goes like this, dreams don't come true, plans come true. And this is a quote by um, a famous marketer, Larry Winget. So I wanna encourage you to visit my website. Um, on my website, which is www.megantull.com, you will find some amazing free tools and resources to help you not only grow um, personally, but to help you grow professionally. So there's um, a lot of resources there um, that you can get your hands on and some juicy free gifts. So be sure to visit my site um, sometime soon so you can really take advantage of all those offers. So I wanna encourage you to go out today and be courageous, take inspired action, and share your gifts with the world. I look forward to seeing you uh, next Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Have a great day.